Hi, this is uh, Jan of EcoSummit TV and I'm standing here together with Martin. Mm -hmm. He's uh, the founder of this uh, cool company called Helios. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you're a German guy, where are you based? Uh, actually, um, we are from Austria, so we are based in Vienna. What is your product? What are you doing? And um, it's all about water, right? And making um, dirty water clean again, drinkable again. Yes, you're totally right. It's called Vadi. It's a very easy and inexpensive uh, tool for disinfection or uh, water disinfection. It's, um, it's, let's say, a substitute to uh, boiling water or chlorine tablets, which are widely used uh, all over the world. And I can show you how, how, to, how okay. it works. Okay, let's have a demo. Mm -hmm. Just take a bottle, you can uh, use a up to three liter bottle, screw it at the Vadi and expose both to the sun. Then press the button and you can see here a, a progress bar. And as soon as you can see here a smiley face, so the smiley is happy, the water is drinkable, disinfected and drinkable WHO standard. How is the disinfection actually happening? Mm -hmm. what, what is happening in terms of biology or chemistry? Mm -hmm. This is the good, <laughs> the good question. <laughs> actually, the device itself doesn't do anything with the water. It's, uh, the sun itself disinfects the water, the UV rays of the, of the sun, and the device itself uh, measures the UV rays and calculates the reduction of the germs and the growth of the germs. Mm -hmm. And uh, after four locks, uh, you can see the smiley here. Water is disinfected. How long does uh, the process take, the disinfection process? Uh, it depends on where you are, the weather and so on. But we, had, uh, we measured in India, for example, summertime, uh, high noon, uh, half an hour, one hour, something like that. Three liter bottle, uh, rainy season, no sun, just cloudy, uh, about five, six hours. It depends. So between half an hour and six hours. So basically the disinfection is happening by the sun and you just measure it and make it um, understandable for the user understandable and believable that's the problem you never know when the water is ready for drink with this device you know when it is ready for drink okay mm -hmm. are you already selling this product in the market mm -hmm. we have sold about 2000 pieces right now um, you can see here the pictures of our uh, projects in ethiopia kenya and in india uh, we have pre-orders of about one million pieces uh, so one million you are going million. to be a rich guy <laughs> hopefully <laughs> no no uh, the problem is as you can imagine, if you have one million on, on, on orders, you have, to, uh, you have to produce the one million pieces and uh, this is a lot of money. So we are looking for investors. How much money do you want to raise? Uh, one million, 1.5 million. And how are you funded up to now? Uh, FFF, so Family, Friends and Fools. And of course, some fundings from the Austrian government uh, and um, uh, awards. Their cap capability to innovate, a great product, a great business model, and their creativity and ingenuity combined with the stamina to bring, bring to market a product and a business and ready to build a business is truly impressive. What's even more impressive and has impressed us very much is the product um, they are delivering. They, they, are del they are helping lots of millions of people in the developing world who don't have access to this most important of all supplies, water, clean, safe water. And our winner tonight is helping change the lives of millions of people around the world with their products. So I'm very happy to announce Vadi tonight. Come on. Oh, very supportive. Wow. Congratulations. Congratulations. Well done. Congrats. Congratulations. Congrats. So let me hand over the award. And as always, there's a bit of recognition, but there's also a prize which hopefully will help you a little bit. 10,000 euros worth of professional um, consulting is at your service. We would be delighted to help you build your business model, but also to get a footprint in these countries where you really can make a difference with your product and your great idea. Thank you very much. I'm here standing with another smart green startup and they are called Solar Kiosk. And this is my new friend called Mark. Yes. Mark, who are you? When did you join the company and what, did, what do you do at Solar Kiosk? Hi, uh, well my name is Mark Zedler. I'm working as a grant manager at the moment. So we're exploring ideas of acquiring investment to the solar kiosk. So we're pursuing uh, public contacts as well as private contacts. And I've been working at solar kiosk now for the past eight months. And what is the basic uh, business model and product concept of solar kiosk? What is it all about? Well, the solar kiosk is about uh, the sense of there's 1.5 billion people throughout the world. 
and these communities don't have access to electricity. Now the classical energy provision wouldn't work in areas, areas between sub-Sahara Africa in terms of those vast distances. So this is a totally untapped market. We believe the solar kiosk can offer uh, services and products that these rural communities, these off-grid communities, don't have access to. So the solar kiosk is a spark for areas that don't have electricity. So basically it's a kiosk and it uh, can create solar energy. Yes. You can store the energy and then the kiosk is operated by some local people and they are selling products, right? What kind of products are they selling? Exactly. We make it a priority that um, solar lamps are sold uh, as well as uh, other solar smaller items are sold at the stand. But uh, generally we are offering fast-moving consumer goods such as cold drinks, charging of cell phones because within these communities many people have a cell phone but they have to travel long distances in order to charge their phone. So in this sense we're adding soft benefits and hard benefits. Then one product is also a cooling medicine, right? Exactly. We, we, have, a cooling, we have a cooling system available where the, we can offer cooling of medicine or the cooling of cold drinks. And uh, you told me before you are not uh, selling the kiosk but you are rather leasing it, right? Exactly. So what is the business model um, in reality? If I want to operate one in Kenya, my birth country, yes. what do I do? Well, uh, what we do is we find a specific area where the, it's an off-grid community where there's a high, higher population. Then we speak and we interview with various operators and to see who could be running the, the kiosk in itself. Right now we're still in the pilot phase of the solar kiosk project, so we're experimenting with different, um, different terms of gaining uh, revenue. What is the price range? depending on the material and equipment of a solar kiosk in terms of construction cost, how much does it cost? Uh, I think it wouldn't be fair to give out a um, full price range of the solar kiosk because right now we're still in the initial prototype phase and there are different various models available so there's a model made out of steel there uh, there's a model made of aluminum that we can also experiment with different uh, uh, local materials such as brick or stone um, so actually we're trying to make the solar kiosk um, a very off a variety of models for different communities. And uh, you already have the first couple of kiosks uh, operating. Yes. Where are they operating and how many do you have operating? Well, um, I'm very happy to say that we have seven solar kiosks running in Ethiopia at the moment and additionally soon we'll have an additional five running in Kenya. Uh, how many people are working there? How many jobs did you create? Yes, we, uh, we can say that um, we're offering one solid solar kiosk operator, but additionally a solar kiosk in itself can offer three to five employees. And uh, you are a startup company based in Berlin. How, how are you funded up to now and uh, how much more money do you plan to raise in the near future? Uh, right now the solar kiosk is self-financed, so we are looking for future investors as well as uh, other private, uh, private gr uh, grants, um, so yeah, self-financed self at the moment. How, how difficult is it to find public money at this point of time mm -hmm. and what do you think uh, you have to accomplish in order to, to, to have it easier? Mm. I feel the process is a bit long and it requires a lot of proposals, but I can understand that in that, in that sense. So, we're, we're writing proposals and we're looking for just different avenues, working with the guide said, hopefully, and just looking for other chances of financing. I, I know this company for quite some time and actually the uh, CEO and one of the co-founders, Andreas uh, Spies, is going to pitch at EcoSummit Berlin in the beginning of June in Berlin on the 4th and 5th of June and we will be very happy to, to learn more and uh, get a full investor briefing from Andreas uh, on EcoSummit TV and maybe you can also bring um, um, a big version of the kiosk uh, to uh, the Radial system. This is the location where we do the conference. Perfect. I, would, I think it would be a great idea. Yeah. And um, thank you very much for talking to us and uh, we cross our fingers that you find uh, more monetary support and find new operators all over Africa. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>
this piece of technology, who developed it? Uh, I developed it and um, uh, didn't mention the price before. Very important, it's very inexpensive. So uh, it's about 10 euros okay. uh, and we will guarantee a lifetime of five years without any maintenance. You don't have to change batteries or uh, filters or any spare parts in during these five years. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you are a hacker? <laughs> um, yes, <laughs> you could say. <laughs> Is it your first company? Uh, Actually, it's my second one. Uh, before, uh, I did uh, art and culture management uh, about 15 years, and I loved it. And but this this device was was uh, was let's say a private project of mine, and then I love it. How many uh, bottles of water did you drink yourself that you um, measured and filtered with this? Uh, um, <laughs> very good question. One bottle in India in front of a camera, and it was the, the water was was disinfected, but. Uh, I had a bad feeling with it, <laughs> so but it worked. Mm -hmm. Okay, you survived it, obviously. I survived, <laughs> yes. <laughs> what uh, what is the benefit of being here at the code N of uh, participating? It's incredible. Um, the first day, with, uh, how I mentioned before, um, with Mr. Rösler, uh, he gave us great contacts. Uh, a lot of people are interested in our product. A lot of people were here. Uh, we had great contacts to India, uh, Arabic countries, and Africa. Uh, I can recommend code N and I can recommend this uh, this session here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you are actually meeting customers because uh, selling the product is uh, one of the most important activities mm -hmm. for any new company, right? Yes. You're totally right and uh, we, met, we met here NGOs, uh, big companies, universities from India, from Africa, so uh, partners and customers as well, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And your target markets are really the uh, developing markets, right? You're totally right, but we are selling it in, in Germany, for example, as well. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you buy a Wadi, you will, be, you will be forced to buy two and you have to donate one. So uh, you can buy it here for about, let's say, 40, 50 euros and uh, you have to donate one to uh, southern countries. Okay.